Hi, can I have some enthusiasm? Excuse me, sir, I was wondering if you could do me a favor. I wish I could, I really do, but I'm afraid I can't open this gate without my colleague's permission. Oh no, it's not that. We just want to borrow some of your enthusiasm. Haha, uh -huh. well if it's enthusiasm you're after, I've got plenty to spare. Take as much as you want. Thank you, sir. Oh, uh, Mr. Dippy, how do I get enthusiasm out of his heart? <laughs> Look at the pages old Treeface gave you, you your book, ain't it? It's the spell called Take Heart, you need to cast first. Take Heart, huh? Sure. Okay, Take Hearts. Oh, it's Taking Heart, apparently. Oh, take his heart and take all of his enthusiasm. He's a little too enthusiastic. Enthusiastic, if you ask me. Oh, we're a true natural leader. Tidy. Looks like you've got yourself a locket full of enthusiasm. I do. Now, you just got to give it to our friend over by there. Okay. Okay, here goes. Okay. Hey, buddy, you want some enthusiasm? I wonder if anything That's right, Ollie boy. The spell you need to give this guy the heart ain't it? I know it sounds just like the other one, but don't go out and mix it up. Whatever you do. I don't worry, Mr. Dippy. Give heart is one of the preparing broken hearts. I'll remember that. Now, when you get cast your give heart, you'll need to choose the piece of heart you want to restore from the locket. Of course, you got one in there at the moment, so you can't mess this up. Go on them, give the guard enthusiasm back. All right, here goes. Okay, give heart. Oh, we're giving him his enthusiasm back. Oh, there's only one left. Okay, I see. This makes it. Oh, it's called enthusiasm too. So there, there we go. Apparently, you killed multiple ones if they got like a lot there. Take your enthusiasm back there, mister. Oh, almost gave myself enthusiasm there. Holy crap. Ooh, shark full of enthusiasm. How do you know it worked? Tidy. Looks like he's back in the land of the living. Does it now? What's happening? You're at work. What do you think you are? Well, well, well. You're back with us, I see. Yes. I feel so strange. The weight is the weight has been lifted from my heart. I feel you better feel better. I saved you. Let me in now, buddy. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I was worried about you. I'm sorry. I wasn't myself. Can I go in now? But I'm back now. And ready to work harder than ever. Well then. These fine people have all come Yes, to we have, have, but you didn't let us in, bastard. I think we'd better let them in. Indeed we had. <laughs> this way, everybody. Thank you. This is what I wanted. I can't thank you enough, but I'm sure you'll receive your fair share of merit stamps for performing such a heroic feat. Merit stamps? What are those? You mean you helped me without even thinking of the merit stamps you've, you'd earned? You do have a merit stamp card, don't you? They're used to collect stamps awarded for helping those in need. If you don't have one, you should Swift visit Swift Solutions in town and pick one up. Listen to me rabbing on. I have to get the gate open. That's what you're here waiting for, isn't it? Yes, please, sir. Tidy, we can finally go inside! Yay, yay, yay! Open that damn gate. I've been waiting hours for you to open this gate, alright? Along with several other people. Ooh, ding dong dell, the Cat King's Castle! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, look at that. That's interesting, isn't it? That's fairly interesting, if you ask me. We're finally here. We're finally in ding dong dell! Indeed, we are, Ollie Boy. There was a few unseen snags on the way, I'll admit. But all well, that ends well, and, all, and I was going to take you to see old Treeface eventually anyway. Right oh, on with the wand hunt. The king of this place knows a spell or two. Let's see if you can help us, shall we? A real life king? Sure, I guess that means we should head for that old place over there, huh? What old place, huh? What old place? What the hell is this? Look at that there, useful. If you're lucky, you'll be able to use one of those one day. Uh, sure. Okay, what is this in here? Hi, can I have a stamp book? Oh, I'm sorry, we're not opening at present. Please come back in if you want to stay there. I don't want to stay one night. Let me out of this place. I didn't even want to come in here. You bastard trying to take my money. Alright. What the hell's right here? Nothing, apparently. There's a door, but you can't go in it. Okay. Come on, man. What do you think? we we'll never get to the place if you go that way. Well, fuck you. I'm looking for that stamp book that guard told us to go get, but if you won't let me go get it, then fuck you, buddy! Oh, look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful Jeepers. it is. Jeepers! It's so... Different. It is different. You can see that again. Stop staring, man. It's rude. But look at those goofy clothes. <laughs> oh, that's mean. Goofy? Are you blind? You are the goofy one around these parts. Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm the goofy one. I'm the goofy one, okay? It looks, sure looks like that. Crikey, we better get you a new outfit before they put you in the zoo. That's mean. Come on, Ollie boy. Uh, okay. Look at them all staring. 
Telling me not to stare. Look at those assholes. Staring right back. Ew, look at me. I'm like a tool. I'm sorry, Oliver, but no matter how trendy they are over in Motorville, your clothes are just plain out of place over by here. Are they really so strange? But this is all I have. Then we just have to buy you some more, won't we? There's loads of shops here in Ding Dong Delmon. One of them must show closure in it. I guess. Okay, let's find a shop where I can buy a new outfit. All right. Whatever you say. I'd like to say that uh, I hope this is the shop that we can buy. It. I can't read any of the like. There's no signs to read or anything. So you have to actually go in. What do you have to offer? Excuse me, ma'am. Do you sell clothes from this were? Oh, I mean, do you sell regular clothes? Clothes here? Oh, hoot! I'm afraid we don't have any stock at the moment. Don't tell us that, Mon. How have you seen the boys dressed? He's a flipping embarrassment. He's greeting. He's getting funny looks wherever we go. My street cried in the ruins. Who a fairy? I used to see your kind all the time. But I bet I'll bet little children these days don't even know who you are. You're telling me kids these days, Mon, disrespectful, ignorant, downright rude. They wouldn't know a fairy if I kicked them in their flipping shins. Not like you, eh, missus? Now about these clothes. Yes, dear. Who? Let me think now. Oh, no, I come to think of it. There was a traveler who left a set of clothes here once upon a time. He'd bought a new outfit, you see, so he left his old ones behind. Roughly human-shaped, is it? And sheep, cheap, I wish not doubt Tidy will take it. But Mr. Drippy... Yes, yes, now, I remember he was one who... He, yes, he said there were very special clothes made from fabric woven from the fibers of the scree tri sky tree, if I remember rightly. Lovely and comfy, extremely hard wearing, and lucky to hoot. I think the only problem would be the size. If it's you who are getting to wear the outfit dress, I need a few hours to make some alternations. I would give you a few you want, otherwise it would come back tomorrow morning. Of course we come on. How's about every day on little boy? There's lucky. Neat oh, thank you very much, Mom. Hoo hoo hoo, a pleasure, my dear. Totally do for now. Until tomorrow. Oh, until tomorrow the waits us a one lucky day. Tomorrow something ages away, man. I'd like to go and see the king right away. Like, but we can't go till we've got a younger outfit sorted, ain't it? I guess not, but what will we do till tomorrow? I know that guard on the gate said something about us getting some kind of card from a place in town, ain't it? Something solutions, like he said the name of the shop was. The one we just went in, the Hutuki, that's the owl one. Was it, uh, Swiss Solutions? There's Clever Review, that's the one. I knew it was some kind of bird. Nice one, Ollie boy. The stores here are sure do have goofy names. You reckon they're just named after what they look like, ain't it? Anyways, let's go over to Swiss Solutions, shall we? Okay, that's what I was looking going for before, but you didn't let me go there, buddy. Whatever, if you give me a way, if you give me a location on how to get there, on the, on the radar, I will go there right now. It makes life easier because I don't have to find the place. Okay, this is Swift Solutions, apparently. I wouldn't know because I can't read the language. Hi, buddy. Can I have a card? Welcome to Swift Solutions, where those in need come to watch their worries fly away. And where those who are feeling helpful agree to perform tasks on their behalf. What sort of tasks do you mean, sir? You honestly don't know? Dear me, you really are new to this, aren't you? Well, I shall swallow my amazement and explain. Folks who are in the need of assistance flock to me, hoping to find someone willing to take their errands from them, for them. On your travels, you're bound to run into people who are looking for help, and you'll have to decide whether or not to soothe their fluttering hearts by taking on the task they set you. Have a look at the errand board over there. On it, you'll see a list of the tasks you can take on. As Swift Solutions, you can also agree to undertake missions to eliminate specific monsters. They're also known as bounty hunts. If you want to find out more, access the main menu and take a look in your journal. Okay. My journal, huh? Okay, I think I got it. Your journal will also show you how many merit stamps you cards you got. Oh, the gatekeeper mentioned something about those. I uh, don't think I have one, though. Ho, ho. You don't do you? Well, that's the Swifty and Rem died. Remdeed, <laughs> I don't know. Keep the merit stamp card safe. You'll need it to collect stamps when you complete tasks. Once you fill up a few cards, you can exchange them for merit awards, which are used... Which are sure to be useful on your travels. Simply visit the nearest branch of Swift Solutions and hand over your completed cards, and the words will be yours. Awesome! Well, thanks for letting me know. Thank you very much, sir. Well, helping people out is all part of saving the world, Ollie boy. But before we make a start on all that do goodery, we need to get you dressed on the job now for Hoonie said your outfit should be ready by tomorrow. So, I reckon our best plan is actually to go get a good night's sleep down at the cat's cradle, ain't it? 
All right, the journal is not accessible from the main menu. Why, well, thank you there, random stranger. I'll be on my way now. To the inn that I've already been to once. That apparently didn't let me sleep the first time, but it will let me sleep the second time. Second time's a charm. Apparently, according to Mr. D Dip Dripper, whatever his name is. Okay, let's see how much it costs to sleep. It's not going to be free, I have a feeling. About that. Welcome to one of the cats created chain of... Fuck you. Stay costs 10 gold. That's not much. Stay the night. Okay, I'll take 10 guilders. Your customers always appreciated. Um, you look a little unusual for travel, I presume. And I encourage you to take a nap at each of our inns, wherever you travel may take you. We're very proud of our deep and comfortable beds, and we hope you enjoy them as much as we do. Thank you very much. Hey, look at your wizard's companion. There's something different about it. Ah, uh, there's some useful memories on the travelers who stayed here filled in the back of a bit. Gee, I never expected that. Why the heck not? None. It's a flipping night mightly spellbook, ain't it? We'd best stay as uh, many places as we can, eh? I guess so, huh? Uh, you pan the new regions of the world's pages. Okay. Awesome. Am I just gonna automatically fall asleep then, or what? Nice. I'll wake up and my clothes shall be ready. Oliver. Oliver. Uh oh, we're dreaming about my mom, aren't we? Mom. Oh shit, we're dreaming about mama. Mom. Huh, mommy? You've done so well to make it this oh, far. Oh shit. Oliver. Mom, is this a dream? A dream. What do you think? You must listen to me now, Oliver. You have to go to him to face, face him. Face who? And when you do, learn, learn the, the truth. truth. The revealing truth. Me, no matter how hard it is. Him? Who's Mom, him, who's mommy? Him? Who is him? Mom, what do you mean? Mom, I'm confused. Very I'm very confused. To both of us. It would help Who if you'd um, get but your story straight. It's all right, sweetie. You're already on your way. Why, thank you. Don't give up, Oliver. No oh, don't worry, I wasn't planning gets. on it. And I came this far into my adventure. Why would I give up now? Mom? No, Mom, Mom, don't go. Mom! Mom. <laughs> Fucking nightmares nowadays. Morning, young man, and what a perfectly fine morning it is, too. You slept well, I hope. Excellent, you'll be on your way now. I expect, well, if you haven't happened across the travels, be sure to stay with us again. Tab, I miss you, see you soon, really. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, I don't care what you have to say. Might as well save my progress while I'm at it. Okay, meeting old father Oak, we finished that already. So let's see where it's saving now. Is it gonna tell me? Is it gonna tell me? Entering Ding Dong Dare! Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go get my damn clothes. So I don't look like a tool. Uh, yes, it's time. It is time. Time again. To get my clothes back from this old man. Even though it is a hoe of a lady. And it's not a man. Alright, you better have something good for me, girly girl. You all the old I meant all the old I meant I didn't mean girly girl. Hoo hoo, there you are, dearie. You'll be happy to hear your clothes are ready. Why thank you. Tidy, best try them on then, eh, Ollie boy? Sure. I'll just pop and get them for you, dear. Wait there and I should be a moment. Yes, ma'am, thank you very much. Well, that's greatly appreciated. What do you think? Do you think? Uh, oh wow, I got a cape. Trendy. You look proper sharp. I got a cape! I'm Superman! Isn't it a little goofy? I mean a cape? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be silly, dear. It hoots you down to the ground. Thank you very much, Mom. How do we owe you? Who, for those old things? Don't be silly, dear. You'd be doing me a favor by taking them off my hands. Really? You sure? Who, who, who? I can't remember the last time I did any snooing. It was absolute hoot, dear. Thinking of nothing of it. All I ask is that you pop back and buy a little something from time to time, you know? You'll do that for me, won't you, dear? Of course you will. Thanks, Mrs. There's Lucky Oli Boy. Looks like we owe this place another visit or three. We sure do! You obtained a set of traveler's clothes. And now you've got some dap dapper duds. We can head up to the place, tidy. Time to go meet the king, huh? I'm kind of nervous. Ah, oh, don't you worry, so am I. Yeah, I won't be back here ever again because your price is outrageous. I don't even have to look at him. I know they're outrageous, damn it. Okay, let's see what this king has to offer. Let's see what the kings have to offer. Look at this guy.